Yes, good afternoon one and all and welcome on our second episode of uh, our guided walk up here in the northern part of the Serengeti and my name is Stephen and this is brought to you all the way from the Malakuri Hills Camp. So on our guided walk today we come across an interesting stuff which is one of my favorite little things to show my guests out here even if I'm doing game drive which is the elephant dung. Okay, you can see there are quite a lot of them and there's this big stuff over here. So this is an elephant dung and it's also quite old it's maybe like two to three weeks you can tell that through the way it weighs okay so fresh elephant dung they weigh even more than the the dry ones okay so you can also say that because it has more of the grayish color okay and more of the yellowish inside so that means it has been drying up slowly but we're going to jump quickly into the importances of elephant dung out here so the first very very good important which is they are used as mosquito repellent. I use also these ones as mosquito repellent around the camp. So if you feel like you have so many uh, bites on your ankles, then you're going to take a piece of chunk like this one here, a dry chunk of elephant dung, you light it up, and then that smoke is going to scare the mosquitoes away. As you know, mosquitoes, they carry some nasty diseases as malaria, dengue, and yellow fever. And of course, you don't want mosquitoes to be around you at all. So that's the very first importance of elephant dung. The second uh, importance is that it's also used as painkillers or a remedy for nose bleeding or if you have any kind of running nose. Yeah? If you have flu, you can still use elephant dung to cure that. What you need to do is take a piece of elephant dung, light it up, and then what takes it, just one deep breath, and that your headache or if you have any kind of toothache should stop right there. Okay, I've ever used it to treat my nose bleeding while I was working in Royal National Park and I had, I had some kind of uh, problems in nose bleeding and one day I did use this one until today I've not seen that. I don't know why, I don't know how it happens but elephant dunks they you, I mean they can cure your problems. Another thing is that, um, you know, uh, scientists call elephants as ecosystem engineers okay in their in the way they are capable of controlling uh, the resources for the other organism by modifying the physical environment so you have these kind of small creatures like uh, insects which are using the elephant you know a pile of poop of elephant dung um, as their home so we have like dung beetles we got um, crickets we have millipedes and other like scorpions and other small creatures they use this elephant dung as their home as you know dung beetles will take uh, a small part of an elephant dung roll it into a small bowl maybe like this and they roll it into a small bowl and put their eggs inside and dung uh, and dig a hole under the ground and of course bury the bowls over there but when these lovers they come outside there's still part of elephant dung is still down there which is going to fertilize the soil as much as possible and also it's also a nutritional home for these small creatures and also benefits for those who want to take um, those creatures as the food for instance we have um, uh, we have different animals for like uh, baboons or monkeys which they usually come and crawl even the guinea falls we have franklins they come here and scroll around to find some uh, some some good stuffs over there As elephant digestive system is quite poor so it's about 45 percent of whatever they eat goes inside and the rest they usually be dumped outside which means to some point uh, if you come and examine the elephant dung itself you find there are some lots lots of different stuffs that have not been digested yet they just went in and came out like that so you find baboons they're always there picking up some fruits or whatever uh, and they eat it so you can see elephant dangs they are just so useful out here it's one stop um, of traditional medicine out here as you know they they eat a lot so in eating a lot they eat different plant species which are more of medicinal uses to us humans so i found elephant dung as quite an interesting stuff and that i usually show my guests even if i'm doing game drives i must stop and tell them about interesting stuff about the elephant uh, dung itself so if i try to open it inside here i'll try to do that it's quite hard though yes so there are lots of insects i know you guys cannot see that from from a distance but of course there are lots of insects 
we want to stay down here and I don't want really to disturb them I don't want to be uh, the case here but insects are trying to use this one as their home and you can see how elephants are quite important in the wool ecosystem and that helps even other animals and other small small creatures so thank you very much and of course we might join again uh, on our next episode what we're trying to find is some other cool stuff and then we're going to bring them to you anything that's small that we all miss on the game drives we're definitely going to bring them to you so thank you very much for your listening and keep in touch